like for the RT day. TV is brought to you by ExpressVPN. <laughs> Don't let hackers steal your financial data. Keep your private information private by going to expressvpn.com slash RT TV. <laughs> I, just, I just want to have a good clean show. I'm Gus. I'm Gavin. I'm Andrew. I'm Vibra. And I'm Gus. Um, I t Whatever. <laughs> Did that I, just, <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to be cool. I'm just going to keep doing the How read. How long have we been doing this podcast? What do you expect? Well, I, mean, I think my mic is muted during the ad read anyway, isn't it? I doubt it. I don't, well, I don't, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't think it is. I, oh, I don't know. Oh, I just, just like, and we're fading in. How do you get rid of chlamydia? Just like, and just <laughs> more, <laughs> more context. <laughs> we all get this COVID test. Anytime we have to come in and do the podcast, we all have to test negative. And that test tests for a lot do of things. Do you want me to pull it up and see what we actually yeah, tested I mean, for? And I, 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 I said I think it tests for like chlamydia and like it's stuff that you wouldn't stuff. expect. It yeah. definitely tests for obviously it tests for COVID. It tests for Hepatitis. the flu. Um, uh, about yeah. some some bacterial things like yeah. the general cold. Yeah. I, I think that's so. What happened with? I know Michael Jones was supposed to do off topic one week, and he had like a cold that I think came back positive on the test. Mm. And so they're like, "Well, you yeah, can't. look at that. Look at the chat. It's not muted during the address. That's very oh. interesting to know." <laughs> Let's see. We got an an adenovirus. What? A uh, uh, adenovirus. Adenovirus. Oh, there you go. Uh, four different types of coronavirus things. Severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus. Human meta pneumovirus, -pneumo maybe pneumonia. <laughs> Human rhinovirus, influenza A, influenza B, para influenza virus one, para influenza all the way to four. <laughs> Respiratory. <laughs> all the way. Sing the funny part is me trying to actually read these. Things. <laughs> <laughs> Respiratory sin. Sin. You, you're doing great. <laughs> I'm like Chris on that podcast last week. <laughs> <laughs> and then like four other bacteria tests too. Mm. My, I, I can't read any there of these was like an, a, an STD in there that it tested oh, for. Oh, chlamydia. There, there it is. Pneumonia. Yeah, the clap, baby. <laughs> the clap in your nose. <laughs> nose clap. So no, all, all four of us don't have chlamydia as well. Congratulations, everyone. Everyone. It's, uh, That's true. But then again, I, I got the test yesterday. Who knows? In the last 24 <laughs> hours, it could have gone I can't wait. Wild. So I, I came here yesterday. I got the... Uh, the, the the COVID test yesterday and then afterwards it was I got it done like first thing in the morning I was like I'm gonna stop by um, The Starbucks by the studio and I'm gonna pick up a coffee and uh, I walked in there I, I placed my order ahead of time in the app yeah. just walked in to grab it walked out and as I'm walking out this dude walks in with no mask And I'm like this motherfucker this <laughs> Fucking <laughs> asshole. I threw my hot coffee right in his face walking in here with no mask And then as I'm walking out I looked at the sign on the door and now it says masks are optional for fully vaccinated individuals and I was like oh like yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so conditioned now to like being mad anytime I see someone's face. I mean, <laughs> <You're> <laughs> like, what's, what's new, guys? We were all like that way what's before this. What's new? Yeah. So, uh, it's it, it, it's just weird to see it like changing. And some people are now like, <laughs> I now have to wear masks that I wouldn't wear before from a deadly virus. I will wear because I don't want to catch the vaccine. I read that and I was just like, yeah, fill your boots. Sure, <laughs> why not? I mean, this Go is the, this, this is from the country that brought you. Putting gasoline in plastic bags. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. Anything you can put gasoline in. Your cupped hands. I don't know. Just anything. Grab it. Kitty pool. Like we Soak your clothes in it and then wring them out when you get home. <laughs> I mean, we had something similar here even in Austin when Hurricane Harvey hit in yeah. Houston. Oh, yeah. There was a run on gasoline and people were filling up. And, you know, everyone kept saying, there's no shortage of gasoline. But then people were like, then why are we running out of gas? It's, like, it's because everyone's filling up their like ah! trash cans with gasoline. Well, it's like the toilet paper <laughs> at the beginning of the pandemic, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's panic buying. It's just this weird panic buying. Everyone it's just like, like freaks out. It's like, terrible you're domino fine. effect. You're fine. I had to go to the dentist last week, speaking of mouth stuff. Um, I, 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 for years, I have had a super irrational fear of going to the dentist. Mm -hmm. And I think it stems from the fact that I remember going to the dentist as a child in the 80s. Like, I remember early to mid 80s dentistry. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, I don't want any part of that. Like, I, I have fillings in my mouth that are probably as old as uh, Gavin and Barbara. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, we are also from the 80s. Yeah. So. It's true. Check uh, it out. So I had, uh, like, this tooth pain that started. Like, it didn't hurt. But yeah. if I bit down on something, it hurt. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh. Something's wrong with that tooth. Yeah. And I tried looking at it myself. I was like, it's like one of the molars. I can't see shit back there. It's yeah. like, um, so I was like, fuck, I got to go to the dentist. So I'm like doing that thing where it's like my irrational brain trying to argue with my rational brain. Like my rational brain being like, 
people go to the dentist all the time. All it's time. not a big deal. Like, what are you so freaking out about? And like the child from the 80s in the back of my mind going, no, it's going to fucking hurt. Like, they're going to need to strap you down into that chair. G Gus, you're absolutely right, because I, I put it to you that American dentistry didn't improve, stayed the same in quality from about 1890 to about 2005. Yeah. <laughs> All dentistry was exactly the same. Some places are still not there yet. <laughs> and some people places yeah. still aren't there yet. But just like, it was like, yeah, I, I felt like up until like the mid 2000s, it was just like, well, we have uh, some gas you can breathe and a leather belt you can bite on. And uh, those are the two options. But you can't bite on the belt all the time because you got to get in there. Exactly. <laughs> I know. It's rough. You got to put it on ever, one side of your mouth. Have you guys ever had, um, I, f I forget what it's called now, but it's like that piece of plastic or rubber rather that they put on your mouth to work on one tooth. Oh yeah, uh, oh, Den I, dental I, dam. I met that. I met it. Uh, you the had other that. Day. Oh, I, okay. I met. I met. I met it when they had to do my work the other day. Yep. yep. Not fun. They, they give you that little big like toss, especially hand. when it gets like in your like it's covering your nose, so you also can't breathe yep. out of your nose, and it's just like. <laughs> 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 that's, that's when I started thinking. I was like, kind of, since they were working on like a bat, an upper back tooth, I had to be kind of on my back and a little upside down, and it's like covering my nose. And I'm like, is this what waterboarding is like? like the whole time I'm like, like, the answer is like, yes. like I can't breathe. Um, yeah. yeah. They get in there, they look at it, and the dentist's like, "Yep, uh, you need a root canal." I was like, "Oh fuck!" And uh, she was like, uh, "Unfortunately, I don't have uh, enough." instruments to do the root canal today she's like i already have another root canal booked and i have the instrument set aside for that so i can't do yours today so you need to come back tomorrow so like fuck so like i had built up the courage to go to the dentist <laughs> once and they were like we can't do it today you gotta come back tomorrow yep. so i had to go back again to it, get it done it was funny getting that message from you because we were supposed to do something friday it was friday friday morning mm -hmm. we were supposed to like have a meeting about something and Gus is like, I might be late to this. I have a surprise root canal. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Uh, Those are two uh, words I never want to hear together. No, I, I did definitely did not want to hear them. How but did it, it, go? it didn't hurt at all. Oh, because like, the numbings? Right. Like they inject, you know, they inject you obviously with the numbing stuff. And um, uh, the, it, like it doesn't hurt. I, don't, I have no problem with needles. Like I used to get shots all the time when I was sure. a kid. Like the COVID <laughs> test is more uncomfortable than getting the root canal was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's like, it, it took a long time. It took like two and a half hours. Like the most, Fuck. the worst thing was like getting bored, like staring at the ceiling with that fucking thing, like did waterboarding they not, like, me. Did they like headphones or anything? Like listening to music on or podcast? I mean, they had like TV on, they had the TV on. It was on uh, <laughs> series defining waterboarding for me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they, had the, they had a TV in there and it was on on like HGTV and it was on flip or flop and I was ah. like I don't give a fuck about this house like especially <laughs> if you can't see it or were you able to see I it? couldn't see it because I was I was like <laughs> flipped just, upside down to the sure. flop like a, a, a reality TV like real estate show that you can't see and only hear <laughs> nightmare awful I, I love those shows I remember when it's getting to watch but yeah. just to hear it be like God this is this is like, like they were like it's gonna take seven thousand dollars to redo this deck and in my mind I'm like how big is this deck <laughs> That's what a lot <laughs> I need to see how, how big this it. deck is. Like I should have raised my hand to the dentist. Like, are you okay? Like, I just need to see the deck. Like, yeah. like let me sit up. Flip me up for a sec. I think my least favorite dentist was orthodontist back when I was a teenager and I had braces put in. They did the mold of my teeth. Oh, mm. no. And I saw him, like, getting this mold and, like, putting all the goop on it and, like, doing like this. And then he just goes, like, and he, like, really pressed it up there because they have to. But I felt a load of the goop like squirt out the back, back in the and, it went, yeah. and, I, and I was like, I, I was like, I think it's, I think it's over, the, I think it's over my breathing hole. And oh, this is what I was thinking. I was like, let me test it. And I just breathed in a little bit and I sucked some in. I, <laughs> I, I was just like, <laughs> oh my and God. Then I coughed and a bunch of shit flew out. And the old was like, sit down. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> He's freaking out. Your, your eyes are watering telling yeah. the story. Beauty. Well, I, I, so uh, another thing I did is I went to the uh, uh, ear, nose, and throat doctor. Is also part of this like ah. big, huge, like sweeping thing, and I did a barium swallow because I've been having some, some bad heartburn. Well, it's uh, they give you a glass that is unbelievably heavy barium. This barium solution that you drink on camera. It comes in like a plastic cup this big, but weighs like eight pounds. Like you don't, they don't prepare you. It's like, it's like, it's heavy. And you're like, sure, I know how heavy things are. And then they like <laughs> hand it to you and you're like, hand drops. You're like, I know how thin much things weigh in cups. Thank you. And then it completely <laughs> fools you, even though they told you about it. Um, and so you drink this liquid and they take an x-ray video of it going oh, down. Whoa. And then like to see how like uh. your, your uh, esophageal sphincter, how, how it's like closing. That's right, kids. Esophageal sphincter, if it's like closing properly to keep liquid from coming back up. Um, and then you, 
<laughs> and if you've never had this done, then you shit white for oh. the next like two days. <laughs> Ghost turds. Yeah, no, it really is. Like, cause they this is this super heavy liquid that they're like, okay, drink a lot of water after you drink this because this inc essentially cement is going to be in your GI tract for two days. So keep drinking water. And I was like, okay. So I started drinking, I think mean, like, I was drinking water all day and it was not enough because like at some point I had been Jeez. sitting for 30 minutes and like stood up to walk. I was like, Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my it, God. It really did feel like it's like, I, I, it feels like my insides are solidified. Was so it? were you dropping heavy logs? Were they like big splashes? <laughs> big oh, white did they clink? <laughs> <laughs> Like a, someone dropped a brick on a, like a, a, a roll of quarters at the bottom of my toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no, surprisingly, it, it didn't. It didn't make uh, uh, my leavings. Uh, didn't make the, <laughs> didn't make any of that uh, super solid and super solidified. In fact, the opposite. It made it uh, uh, mm. the opposite consistency. Heavy water. Yeah. You, if you don't mind me saying, we both had colonoscopies. Yes. Not together, but <laughs> at various points in time. <laughs> Holding hands. Yeah. <laughs> the, the couple's colonoscopy. Yeah. Just like but we also prepped. Louise in it. We prepped differently, I think. I did the the night before cleansing. You did the like day of cleansing. Yeah. Right? Let me tell you. You got to take a bunch of lax. So for for the prep from that I did, it was like you don't eat solid food. I think twenty four hours before. Or drink anything that's not like a clear liquid. You could have like chicken soup or chicken broth and stuff like that and water and apple juice and stuff like that. Uh, but then you also start drinking this uh, liquid that flushes you out hours and hours and hours before your procedure. So you're like got a clear, empty tunnel of vision Tracks. for them. Yeah. Andrew, on the other hand, I had a different method of prep. Yeah. And I don't know. If, I don't. I I can't remember if I talked about this on the podcast when it happened, but it was well over a year ago that I, that I did it. But no, there's so there's there's that method, which is like be near a toilet constantly because mm -hmm. you're going to get the urge uh, a, 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 every five minutes on the five minutes, like yep. every, on the minute. Like the one I did, though, was I was like, I want to try I want to try something new. And so the, the of the day <laughs> one is they take a tube oh, no. and you sit on the special chair. That's kind of like a bath and they put the tube up you and they just flush you they, it's like a little garden hose and it's they like an just like yeah it's like an enema it's but it's it's, it's a it's a <clears throat> long enema i picture like, it's like that like an hour like that or two toy you put on the hose where like the top uh, like the water starts spraying out everywhere <laughs> yeah, exactly uh I, I i had been uh shot like a cartoon so like water was <laughs> coming out <laughs> uh did you of, say it was like you get inflated and then like it would all come out. Yeah. So like they were like, so you know, you're gonna let the water, like you're gonna feel yourself getting full, which is oh, really. Does it just uh, feel like you really need to shit? Yes. But it's water. It okay. It feels like you really need to shit, and also like if you've ever had like gas pain, like it just feels oh. like you're like, Ugh. so like you go, and, and they're like, now hold that as long as you can, and then it, you know, like try to do, like do 15 <laughs> or 15 seconds of the 10 or 15 seconds of that, and then you're like. Oh god. And then you like add in. <laughs> oh my and god. then and then push. And release. <laughs> and release. Is it satisfying coming out? Yeah, but no. I, I, I hate, mean, I hate everything about for, this. for the yes, split second. Yes, yes, in the moment, and then it's like you're right back online in line for the roller coaster. Because <laughs> because you do it for like 30 minutes or an hour or some or something. And it, I, I, oh god. And so it's like that every awful. like 15 to 20 seconds for like a good long while. So it's either this for 30 minutes to an hour or the other way for 24 hours. My thing was miserable though because and I'm, this, I'm not saying this wasn't miserable. <laughs> yeah. My operation when I had a colonoscopy was either eight or nine in the morning. And you're supposed to do like the first chug of this beverage, I think, like 8 p.m. And then again, like four hours before your operation. So you I got to wake up early. Although I never went to bed. Let's be real. Oh, okay, I, I was shitting all night. Yeah. Um, yeah. But like it, it doesn't it becomes just you're pissing out of your ass. Yeah. At one point, like <laughs> there's literally nothing left. But we haven't had a podcast like this one in ages. Yeah, I love it. I and I, I probably talked about it when it actually happened. But also like. You know when you are sitting and like your stomach starts to like gurgle and you're like, I might have to shit soon. Uh huh. For this, if you felt anything, you are shitting now. Like, <laughs> it's like, get the fuck up. Why is the anus so poorly designed for liquid? Like, why can't it have like a little. No, it's. It's watertight. I think all, <laughs> all the, I mean, it's not leaking out. But all, when you all, wanna... this, all this stuff is activating your internal organs in a way that they're not used to being activated. That's what's going on. Yeah. I, I just love that we've talked uh, intensely about both entrances today. We've talked about the teeth and the mouth oh, yeah. and the exit, uh, yeah. or I guess I said entrances. I meant, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, well, 
you know, if that's your thing, go for it. Well, I mean, I guess we're done then. I mean, we checked off everything on the bingo card. Went literally full circle. I just love the phrase, you're pissing out of your ass, because that sounds like someone like saying, ah, you're pissing out of your ass, like something you do to dismiss someone. Ah, you're you're just pissing out of your ass. There's no other way to describe it. I mean, there really isn't. It's when there's literally nothing solid to come out anymore, because it's all been gone, but your stomach (laughs) still won't. It's all been gone. It's just out of you. The... The dentist laughed at my fillings. Uh, she said, Why? My fillings were so old that she could not buy the type of material that was used in my fillings, even if she wanted to anymore. But they haven't used it in decades. <laughs> was it like mercury or something? <laughs> you could only buy it with Confederate money. Like she had to buy it with pre civil. Oh, yeah. We can't, we can't even get that anymore. Yeah, she was like, uh, she was like uh, you may want to replace them. I don't know. <laughs> like, if you want to, it's totally up to you. <laughs> Did you, so you didn't get them replaced yet? Uh, well, one of them I had to. It's just where I had the root canal, and then uh, I had one on the other side replaced. I've become uh, obsessed with watching. I I don't know what they're called. I guess like <clears throat> tours or like people who are flying first class on some big airline. Mm-hmm. I love those videos. Yeah, where it's just like they show off like the cabin and all the features and the food and everything like that. I don't know why I'm blanking on like what that's called. Um, the, but, uh, one of them, I think. Emirates calls it like the sky apartment. Yeah. It's like these like multi thousand dollar plane tickets. I just don't get like it. Like $30,000. It's, like, it's, it's like one of them. The sky apartment is so big. It has two rooms. Yeah. Like, you have two like rooms. a living room with a couch and a TV. <laughs> There's a your own bathroom with its own shower yep. and then a bedroom on the other side it's of that. And they obscene. play they play the sound of neighbors having sex on the other side of the wall. <laughs> just just a, a, really, full, a really immersive experience. But at they one want point you to on feel... the flight, are you just lying there in your bed and then you're like, I'm going to go to the living room. <laughs> Well, the thing that I always like think about is these people who spend, let's say it's 30K for this one ticket, which is obscene. Would you spend any of that time sleeping? Because I feel like if I'm going to spend that money on something, obviously I would never spend $30,000 on a plane ticket. I would have to be insane. Um, But live your bliss. Uh, (laughs) I don't want to waste it. I want to like have all the amenities. I want to like get Mm -hmm. the whole experience. I don't want to spend like six out of the 10 hours I'm flying sleeping. Yeah, I don't that's know. why I don't understand the point. Like, that's why, because there's there have been times where I've like upgraded to business just with the the miles I have. Yeah, because you fly a lot. Yeah, flew a lot. And that's that's <laughs> flew a lot. That's all I need. I need a bed that just goes back a little bit further. Yeah. And that yeah. to me, I'm like, I don't want a living room. I don't want a shower and shit. It's like. <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. That's the best thing you can do on a plane. Someone in chat just an air travel talk on RT podcast. Nature is healing. It sure is. This is like the things I, I feel like now I, I, I want to travel. I want to like go. It's been a year. I want to like book a flight. You know, go on go so you do I something. To, uh, yeah, I want to want to move. I want to move about the country. Yeah. Not sponsored by South. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to go to another country <laughs> when, yeah. when that will be available. Who knows? Eventually. I just saw, sorry, I just saw someone uh, in the chat say, Andrew looks so tired. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> how, what, what, a kind, what a kind thing to say, viewer. Uh, I am tired. What do you look like? What tired. do you look yeah, like right I'm now? Tired. I mean, well, Send army. us a picture of what you look like, uh, person who said that. I feel like that's, that's, for some reason, the most acceptable insult that's not bad. It's not like, I, but, it's not like you look ugly or you look like shit, but it's people have to say, uh, you look tired. I know. And that means... You've looked better. That used to, uh, <laughs> that used to. Whenever we used to go to conventions, they used to always drive Mega sixty four crazy. Whenever someone would walk by the booth, and be like, "You guys look tired." <laughs> They'd be like, "God," because uh, it's tired. I mean, being in the booth all day long for like not even being in the booth, just being on. Yeah, like, like all those days. Yeah, it's, yeah. Because it's you know it takes energy to be a likable person sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so like if you're just like being on, that takes a, a lot out I, of you. I know I saw some of them. Sometimes when that happens, they just like leave. Like they just like walk out of the booth like a cat right now. <laughs> like, I'll, I gotta go walk around. I'll be back. My favorite is because Rooster Teeth and Mega 64 were always next to each other at every convention. People would <laughs> often go to that booth asking where certain Rooster Teeth people were. Like, where's Bernie? Is that, or, what is one of you Bernie? Well, it was tough for us too because we had to listen to Eric all day. Which is a freaking And nightmare. now we have to listen to him even more often. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> On cue. I think that's why they f- get forgotten because I think they shut up about it. I think it's like there was a lot of like, we're going to take the system down and like the boomers telling them like, oh, Gen X is going to ruin the world. And then Gen X is like, oh, no, we just got to play this game. Like, we just got to like get ours and shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then that's like, that's why everyone forgot them. It went straight from boomers to millennials. Yeah. Gen X just like Homer Simpson into the bushes. Yeah. And was like, I got my house. I got my kids. <laughs> but what are the generations talked about as much as they are now? 
was that? Back in the day. Oh, like, yeah. Pe- was there even... I remember so many fucking, like, new pearl-clutching news stories about how Gen X was oh, okay. uh, going to ruin uh, the economy and yeah. ruin the world, and there were a bunch <laughs> of slackers who were up to no good. It's... There was a lot of that. Man, mm-hmm. there, I, a lot of that pearl-clutching, like, new, a lot of news stories of just, like... It's called rock and roll, and it could be killing your kids. Like, it's like there was like so many like punk rock is coming for your children. What was the the meme about millennials? Like, we're spending, we can't buy houses because we're spending too much money on avocado toast yeah. or something like that. Yeah. What was that whole article? I don't remember where it originated, but yeah, I remember people talking about that. Yeah, it's just like we buy avocado toast, therefore cannot afford homes. All right, right well, uh, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Oh, uh, time flies when we're we're having fun. Uh, but thanks for watching. <laughs> We'll see you guys again next week. Bye. Bye.